hey guys welcome back to my channel for yet another video if you're new here my name is brielle and welcome to the channel so um today's topic i'm going to extend like like a discussion i had in my previous video about like self idolization you know yeah so let's get into it so like there's no um bible verse sponsoring this today it's just an extra download <laughs> that i received you know from the holy spirit and i was like why not talk about it you know so um you know it's something common among ourselves um in this modern day and age to idolize ourselves ourselves and to give like a lot of credit to ourselves you know like when people um achieve things or like end up doing things they praise their self and their own strength and forget about God, you know? Like the world has made us fall deep into the self-praise and self-preservation and self, um, you know, just caring about self, self, self. And that has made us like, you know, move towards the route of idolizing ourselves instead of giving all the glory to God. So as you all know, we were created for God and not for ourselves, you know? Like everything that we do, every little detail that God um, used to make, to make you, every little blessing that he's given you, every gift that he's blessed you with, it's all to be used for his glory and not for ourselves you know majority of us we tend to think that we are here for ourselves like we are not here for ourselves we are here for god so like once you understand that then you're gonna change your life and how you do things and like this is not to say you shouldn't like honor yourself and like you know um give yourself grace you know like definitely because this is your path your journey you know so definitely give credit because you know you're surviving you're striving to like um see this journey to the very end you know which is dreadful which is great um pardon me but like you know we don't operate from our own strength i know from our perspective we tend to think that how we are operating and maneuvering life is from our own strength it's not because think about it this way like if if you're that mighty or that strong then why is it that um when you feel like maybe you're um exhausted or like frustrated you run back to god you know because if you are that mighty and this is like something i wrote even on my notes because i have my notes here you know like you are not mighty if you've had to go on your knees and cry out to god you know so like that means you're weak and you're dep you're de you have to depend on god like the fact that you run to god and you seek his help just shows you that you're not mighty you're not strong enough to handle life on your own you have to depend on god and that's the whole point you know so this thing of saying you know i'm this and i'm that i did this and i did that like yes it's you who did that but it is god who did that through you you're nothing but a vessel you know you're god's vessel so there is no way you wrote the plan for your own life. It is God who wrote your path, like your journey for you. So there is no way like you're capable of doing all these things by yourself. You know one thing that I know, even from experience, because I'm like, <laughs> the times where you try to run life on your own, like, with your own thoughts with your own um how you see fit you know like you end up being stressed majority of the time you end up being wary you end up being frustrated because it's like you're taking matters into your own hands you know you're like i have to do this and i have to do that but once you change your route and you start depending on the lord let me tell you you will never grow weary 
like your strength will keep on being refilled by God. You know, even when you feel like you're at your weakest, somehow you just find yourself picking up um, that from that low point and you keep going, you know? But this can't happen when you're, you're operating by yourself. You know, you have to include the Holy Trinity in your life. You know, because there's a Bible verse that also says like those who depend on the Lord will soar like eagles, you know. They will run, but they will not grow weary, you know. Because why? Because God keeps on refilling your strength, you know. Because he knows how, how tough life is, you know. So he has to keep on renewing your strength because you still have work to do. His work, his mighty works, you know. So that's why humility is key because um, what God gives, he can easily take away, you know. So there is no need to look down on others because maybe you feel your doors are being opened or you're, you've achieved a certain level in life, you know. Like humility is key. The Bible says like humble yourselves so that you can be exalted, you know by the Lord but if you don't humble yourself then the Lord will humble you you know so let's try and not self idolize because um, that can easily take attention away from God you know like we, let's be careful not to idolize ourselves but to credit God and to acknowledge God in each and everything that we do because he's the one who is in charge he's the one who has all the power he's the one who is orchestrating all the things that are happening in your life and it's not from your own works and it's not from your own um, will it's not from your own strength you know all these are downloads from God you know yeah so before I head out like I wanted to read something that you know might help you change your um, focus from yourself to God, you know? So I wrote like change the narrative from myself to the Lord. So I gave an example like, you know, when you're telling someone, cause sometimes you'll tell someone like, don't underestimate me, you know? Like instead of that, you have to tell someone, don't underestimate my God. You know, because it is God who is working through you. So definitely, if someone underestimates, underestimates you, they're underestimating the power of the Lord. You know, so once you um, make it a constant to, like, acknowledge God, even through your speech, you know, it will, wire, it will rewire you in such a way that you'll be able to remember that it is not you who is in charge, but it is God who is in charge. Okay, because remember you don't open doors for yourself. It is God who opens the doors for you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so that's all I had for today. Um, you guys stay blessed, love and light, and I'll see you in my next one as usual. Yeah, so ciao.